Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulate 2 for my career fuck what great a subsidiary of SD Logistics. You join us in sunny Portsmouth as you can see. A beautiful day, a beautiful day for trucking. We need to go find ourselves a job. So hopefully we can make our way to sort of Cambridge or Norwich so I can drop the trailer off and we can do some different things after that. So uh, let's go see what we can find. Let's get on with it. As luck would have it, we've managed to find ourselves a contract haul and beef just across the road into Cambridge. So let's get ourselves loaded up. Let's go. So we're fully stocked. 21 tons of beef in the back. That's a lot of beef. Plenty of British beef there. Although it's come from Portsmouth, I hope we're not shipping this over as French beef going into uh, <laughs> Cambridge. That's not what we do, people. British beef. Turn left. Now, I don't know what we're going to get weather-wise, but it's going to be raining the whole day. There's every possibility of that. Turn right. Is there a weather forecast? I've never even looked to see if there is a weather forecast <laughs> within this game. There could possibly be, but we've, we've got rain. So we're going to have to be careful. Because I do slide about in the wet. Slippery when wet, that's us. Need a t-shirt with that on. But we, I mean, we should be a little bit better. Uh, we select at a service point, so I did fix a few of the little repairs that needed doing, and uh, I did buy us a new repair. I brought us new boots. We've got new wheels on the truck and new wheels on the trailer, so we should be good. We should be good. We've also uh, fueled up. Stay behind me, mate. I'm coming over. Um, Get refueled. Now the, the boots cost a little under 16 grand. They weren't cheap. I think our drivers have been working overnight, dropping off a few deliveries for us if I bring it up. We are back up to 222 grand. I think after I bought the shoes and done the repairs, we were pretty much almost um, 200,000 on the dollar. So they've done well for us. I hope you're all well, hope you're enjoying the series, making some half decent progress. I did consider going off and just doing some jobs and then coming back to you guys. I want to try and get this trailer off, do at least one job without our trailer, and then possibly do a few in-between jobs, just run around doing all sorts and I'll show you what money we make. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to then do another live stream with uh, multiple trailers on the back. And then once we get, we'll try and find our way back to Cambridge or Norwich. We'll get the trailer back on and uh, yeah, we'll go back to, to repping it. It would be nice to get a few more trailers, different types. All to come. That was important. Need to try and find the time to try and customise some and get the SD logistics on them or some kind of our freight ones made up. I am considering doing a new skin for the truck as well. Just sounds a bit boring, we've gone for the greys. Like the channel is now, it's not, not got greens and yellows, although I do like this truck. So we'll see. Something something new may come for far class freights. I think I said at the very beginning I did consider it for the new series, but this is this is what we're known as at the minute, so sticking a brand new one on at the time I think might be a bit too much. A little bit tight. Oh, just, just in. the traffic behind are appreciating it. Now Portsmouth to Cambridge, I don't think this will be uh, really a really long trip. Yeah, we can bring the info up. Just under four hours, 175 miles left, so it's probably about 190 miles. Go, 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 go. There we are. Put a foot down, they're on. So yeah, it is 21 tonnes of beef, Cambridge, um, 
VB Schenker is where we're delivering it off to, dropping it off to. It's 15 grand. It wasn't the best paying job, but it was the job that was going to get me where I wanted to go. Uh, we've got eight hours to do it in. I say it's three and a half hours left. Should be pretty good. Should be smooth sailing. Our only real risk now is going to be the weather. Turn left. So we're taking the M25 northbound. That's us. So we're going to be heading up to, once we hit to London, go around and then actually take us to Cambridge. Obviously we've got a little bit of, bit of travel before we get there, but that's sort of the main part of the route that's going to be on the M25. When you think of the scale of the map, like the trip to London is going to be pretty short. From what I could figure. Now, because of the wet, I'm not going to be too concerned about trying to get past trucks and, you know, my usual speed and antics. I need to take it easy because we do struggle in the wet. Even just driving around uh, Portsmouth before we started, I was just driving around, making sure I hit the roads, so we've got them uh, driven down, because that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to uh, conquer Britain, drive all the roads, so we've uh, driven around all the roads in um, Portsmouth, build up and what have you, and just done a couple of turns, even like 25 miles an hour, we, we were getting a bit of a slide, so have to be careful. Coming out of the dry into the wet here would be a little bit of a shocker for us as well. It does look like it's starting to ease off though, which is nice. But it does. It might just be because it's now coming into the daylight hours, nine o'clock, four past nine now. Coming out, are you staying where you are, sir? Do I need to be over in your lane? I think I do. Yeah, that's where you want to be. M25. Keep left, and then exit left. Exit left. A little, a little blinker. Let him know that we're coming. Keep left. Squeezing through there, I think I can. Make sure we don't put the truck on the railings. Hopefully, we're not going to hit all the reds. Again, once we're on the M25, we should be good. Should be good. Might be able to get our foot down a little bit. Oh, they indicated but didn't turn. <laughs> they were just indicating for that lane. It's pretty clear for a nine for a nine o'clock. It's pretty clear on the M25. We will take that. Let's try and get a view in my mirror. so I am just going to sit in the second lane and annoy everyone. <laughs> perhaps I should. With my 56 mile an hour, perhaps I should. Perhaps I should be back, back over. Let's see if we're going to end up, yeah, we're going to end up weaving in and out a lot. So yeah, I'm better if I stay in right. And right again, actually. Busy, busy. So we'll see if we can get a little uh, cab on here. Try and read the signs, see uh, see where we need to come off. I doubt I will be able to read them. I struggle at the best of times. 
at any other point. It's always going to be difficult. one place to change um, but I think if things go as I think they're gonna go this week should have been a week of streamed content um, with expeditions now going to a stream hopefully getting back to snowrunner being streamed on twitch so I did say well, that's probably how things will go when my partner returns to work and the time has now sort of dwindled away from me to record and edit and upload and to maintain a, a schedule in, in that I was. So I think it's now where we switch to the more streaming service. <laughs> the streaming service. Keep yeah, right. streaming content creator. It's not really content creator, I don't care. It's your streamer, I think, well, you're a content creator. I, I, I like the recording. I like doing that. But it's, it's just not, not viable to maintain everything that I want to maintain. And I think with Expeditions, it would stream. We'll actually be able to cover more because it's generally a 30 to 50 minute episode. Whereas if we stream, we can stream for like three hours. So let's you know, do that twice a week. You know, you still get six hours of content and you know, maybe maybe a little bit more. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But I think we will probably be able to work through the game a little bit quicker and see some more stuff. Hopefully people will join us or can watch it after the fact that everything will be loaded up like it always does. And then by not having to worry about having to edit and upload, it's going to free up the extra streaming time that I want to do for streaming on Twitch and do, doing some games there. So, yeah, hopefully this is going to work out for us. Keep right. We'll soon find out. By this episode, we should have found out. We should have had... Uh, Two expeditions and two Twitch streams, well maybe three Twitch streams by the time this comes out. The hard mode series for SnowRunner, I'm still going to keep recording because that is done as a day each episode running roughly from 8 to 8 so that will stay as it is. And obviously this one will be uh, recorded and then um, a live stream when we can sort of to mix things up a bit on a Sunday because I quite like doing that the other Sunday. As we get in the groove of it, we may even find time to get a farm streaming. I've been away from the farm for a while now, so you know it, it might feel a little bit fresher again to go back to a little bit of farming. It just become a little bit stale for me. So if, you, if you're watching this and you're interested in maybe a little bit, a little bit of farm streaming, let me know in the comments. So we can do. I think you're just going to come out, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I need to move over. Coming off Cambridge. Now that that car could have stayed in its lane and followed off with the other car that was still in that lane, but I think you just knew, you could just tell he was going to. He was coming. Like it or not, he was a coming. Turn left. So I'll be coming off. Here we are. So we need to try and find a way of hitting all them slip roads and everything as well. Drive all the roads. Just have a day where we just drive out, out and about. You need to 
get your car mods so with a little veil and just keep driving around. <laughs> that might be interesting. Oh, probably not. That probably might be interesting at all. <laughs> like, I might have some fun with that. I'll find a car mod, we'll get ourselves an Audi or a BMW or whatever there is, and um, maybe do that on a live stream just trying to drive around the UK on a Sunday drive. Trying to hit some of these roads that we always miss all the time or something. Maybe know what you think of that down in the comments. Should we, should we do that? Should we just go cruising the UK motorway? <laughs> For no other reason than because we can. And not in a truck, in a car. I just want on the left. left. We haven't had any sort of reprieve in the weather, have we? I say I have... Uh, Exit left. I've set it to uh, a more frequent rain, so... Keep right. That's what we get. But that's what it's like in the UK, lots of rain. Now I'm going to stay on my right hand lane. Go right. Oop. You just let me go, are you? Thank you, very kind of you. Put your nose out, sometimes they lick through, sometimes they don't. I think I keep going round to the right, my friend. But he means straight going round the bathroom. Keep left, then exit left. Right. Let's make sure there's no one over there and we shall drift. Exit left. And we shall come off. Smooth as silk. Heading home. That's where we start, Cambridge. If you've not been here from the beginning, Cambridge was our very first garage. At the time, I didn't have pro mods. I didn't get pro mods until about episode four, I think. And then once we did, we went to Norwich and we brought Norwich garage as soon as we bought it, because Norwich is where I'm from. So Cambridge is our home. We've got a bit quick, aren't we? This Slow down, slow down. It's well not to get fine there. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I'm just gonna try and get a bus a bit of rain calls. There's every chance he might reverse a little bit. Possibly, because he did, did stop quite abrupt, and when they stop abrupt, they sometimes reverse up before they get going again. No, it's all good. I was on my other profile the other day, <laughs> driving around, I think it was in Spain, Spain to Italy, and on one junction, there was a uh, there was a Spanish Spanish police car was backing up and going forward, backing up. <laughs> they just kept smashing into all the traffic. <laughs> I didn't have it set to record because it was on my other profile, but that would have been a funny one to capture. Exit now. I always forget what the uh, <laughs> the keys are for a clip it or play and put the uh, G Force thing. Go straight. Can we roll it? I think we're good. We're good, we're good. I was a bit hesitant on that. Yeah, beautiful day out, isn't it? This is no spring weather. I was going to say no spring weather. This is actually what it's been like here for the last 
few days and it's planned for the next few days here for me in real time but yeah this is spring, spring weather this is a perfect depiction of UK right now we had a week of like quite nice weather I broke the shorts out already and then uh, yeah been miserable I haven't even hit double figures, I don't think, in temperatures Turn for a day or two. Sweet. Oh, this is where it ends. Is that a spot? Delivery in. There's your beef. Have your beef, lads. So that was just under 200 miles, six hours. Uh, we went through 126 liters of fuel. Oh, by the way, if you are interested in fuel and the realistic fuel mod against standard fuel, you'll check out Sumi Dad's channel. He recently put out a really good video explaining it all. He did quite a few experiments on it. It's quite interesting. It's a good, interesting outcome. Go check that out. I might even put a link down in the description for it. Uh, but that was 11 grand base, 4 grand for proficiency, 15,500. And that is another day and another delivery in the bag. I'm off to headquarters. I'll drop off the trailer. And next time out, we will uh, use a company's trailer to do some delivery. See if we can find something different than a refrigerated trailer or a curtain side or a, or a box or anything like that. We'll see if we can find something else. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully, I will see you again very soon. Bye bye.